Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. A quick throw caught by Rice. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. On first down, Mahomes. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Now Mahomes. And this pass caught by Gray. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. Well, they kept it simple there, CD. Only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. Now that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. And he'll get nothing out of that one. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And now it's third and three. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. You get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no, no yardage. yardage. Okay. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. we got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game that will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And he's got it to about the 40. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and eight. Now here's Mahomes. Finds his man, Watson, over the middle. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 22-yard line. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. 
Able to find Gray here. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up second down. And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has the feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long. And now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. From the 17, here's second and four. Looking to throw is Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Dolphins take the field with Tua Tungavailoa, their quarterback from Alabama, at the helm. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Two in the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And he's taken down a chief sack. Chris Jones. Busting through to get him for a loss of six. Well, if they have any thoughts of coming in here and getting this road victory, that's not the way to start it out on the first play of the game. Yeah, one thing you always say when you go on the road, take the crowd out of the game. They actually brought the crowd into it by permitting that sack right out of the gate. First carry for Raheem Mostert. Yeah, nothing doing here as this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Here's Tua. And that is incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So on fourth down, here's Jake Bailey to punt for the Dolphins. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. To throw, it's Mahomes. He finds Watson, it's caught. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive, it comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. 
And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. From the 22 now, here's second down and three. On play action, it's Mahomes. But no hesitations, they go right back to Kelsey. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. But those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And again, it's Mahomes. Now throw out wide, going to be incomplete. I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but maybe circle this play because if they get the stop and hold them to a field goal here, that's a pretty good job. They're already down on the scoreboard. A stop now would be vital for them because it could save them from having to do it multiple times later in the game in order to either get back into it or maybe have a chance to win. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter for Arrowhead. It's the Chiefs in possession. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs go up by two touchdowns. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Braxton Berrios now from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. I think if they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Ball at the 23, second and eight. 
throwing now is Tagovailoa. They'll swing this out wide. Here's Achan. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Chris Jones on the stop. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. On second down, Tua. Finding space at the 40, and he'll take it to the 43-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. And this may be the one to build on right here. It's the second quarter. They've got nothing on the scoreboard as of yet. They need to put something together, and this is a good start as they get the completion there for good yardage and a first down. Now Achan on first and 10. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Now a second and six. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. That's caught Waddle on the left side. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. From midfield, here's Tua. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. So how would you describe that one, partner? Workmanlike right there, getting that first down, blue-collar type football? Yeah, only needed three, got four, just enough. I like workmanlike. I think it's pretty cool myself. Everything doesn't have to be high glamour in this game. A running play on first down, and it turns into a fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Second and ten. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and that'll leave them with a third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Tua looking to throw on third and two. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. And the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. The Chiefs offense set to go. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. 
Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. So the completion good for seven there, and that will bring up second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. No, I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Two minutes to play first half. It's 14 to nothing. Mahomes now on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Here's second and 10. Now it's Mahomes again. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 34-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. Right back to Tony. He's got another one. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. If you're going to play quarterback in the NFL, you've got to have great vision, and you've got to remain calm when things break down in the pocket. Both of those traits are on display there. He surveys the situation, sees the middle of the field open, so he's just going to step up and take it himself. Very well done there. 
Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 21 to zip. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was all capped by Patrick Mahomes using his legs to get in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And the Dolphins with one final possession here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Now Tua. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. Powerful running. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's Tua. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Two are going to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Mostert. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. And again, it's Tug of Iloa. It's a slant to Hill. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Second down and six now. Here's Tua. Tyreek Hill's got another one. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good, and this will stay a three-touchdown game. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we've come upon halftime here in Arrowhead with the Chiefs on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. Barrios now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. On second down, a run by HN. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to pass. Tua. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Hardman on the return. So a change of possession here on the punt. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 37. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that'll be caught by Tony. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Throwing now is Mahomes. That ball caught, it's Rice. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. The 22 more yards there and another first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And Watson has it, right side. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Now Mahomes. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Jalen Ramsey with a sack on the corner blitz. And they visited the end zone frequently in this one, and obviously they wanted another one. But give credit to the defense there. They may not make the comeback, but pride showed good sack on that play. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
A lot of deflated looks on that defense. It seems like they just cannot find a way to get a key stop on third down. Here's another conversion, and now this offense, they're in a position to go up even further as they've got it first and goal. Here's Pacheco. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Good work there, holding him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Second and goal from the one. Pacheco once more, and this time he will score. Touchdown, KC. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it is 28 0-0. <laughs> <laughs> Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Miami set to take over. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Here's a second and eight. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Open man downfield is Waddle. He's got it. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one good for 26 and a first down. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long, but a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Open net is Waddle complete. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll run for it with a chance. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage, but it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force, and they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. On play action, here's Tua. The 20! And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 25 yards that time. 
But look what we have here, a sustained drive, and that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football. But right now, they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe the Dolphin got going a little early. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still first down. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Up the middle, HN. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Well, this defense, they've got the four-score advantage, and you can see why they continue to bottle up the run game, and really, they've just been sharp in all facets here in this one, CD. Yeah, they've kept that offense in check the entire game, and I think it's been led by what you just talked about, that defensive front, which has not allowed them to run the football and establish control of the line of scrimmage. And this is going to be intercepted. It's Joshua Williams with a pick. And the Chiefs are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. A disappointing end to that drive, making it to the red zone. But they'll again, CD, wind up with nothing. And nothing? That's been the key word because they've had drives throughout that have finished off with nothing. Can't finish off a drive to save their lives in this game. And this one winds up again, giving them, dare I say it, KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. The long drive last time out for this offense, Charles, if you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit words too because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. They'll look to pick it up with McKinnon. Down the numbers. There he goes. And they will finally haul him down at the Dolphins' 15. It's a big play there from a big play guy, Jarek McKinnon. 57 yards. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. From the five now, second and a yard. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. That is caught. Touchdown. Rasheed Rice, a five-yard touchdown. 
And the Chiefs have sewn this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. Pacheco and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage that's going to go as a loss of one on first down I just wonder if before that last play if someone on the defense stepped in the huddle and said we've been run over run around run through all game long can we come up with one stop right here and on that play they did now here's Mahomes and he's got it touchdown Chiefs Noah Gray, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Chiefs open the lead up to 34-0. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Butker on for the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. The Dolphins offense now heads back on the field. It's been a tough go for them. It's still without any points here in the fourth quarter. And a big deficit, Charles. But they moved the football on some drives. They just haven't had any points. Yeah, and I know in their minds they're thinking the game plan has actually been working. We just haven't scored points. Well, isn't that the bottom line, partner, to put points on the board? So if you're moving it and you're not scoring, is it really working? Right now, they've got nothing left to lose. They might as well go for broke. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Going to the air, Tugavailoa. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. The offense on third down tonight. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and ten. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. This one winding toward a conclusion, and how would you assess how the secondary is played? Well, we just saw them take another shot downfield that was incomplete, correct? Correct. So my assessment is that if anyone's played really well in this game, it's been the secondary. That was the latest example. Yeah, they've been solid. Really, the whole defense has been solid. Still pitching a shutout. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Tua. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Dolphins first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, 
plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Here's Tungabailoa on first and 10. On target over the middle to Hill. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Tua sets up to pass it. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 29-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now, and all they can control here is how their final plays develop. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Two yards left on second down from the nine. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. He's got his target, that's complete. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds, right at the three. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. They'll come out in the pistol. Now Tua. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but... They haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taken at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And the Chiefs offense ready to go again. Well, we've reached, well, we've reached the stage where it's a, it's a mere formality at this point. They've got the comfortable lead. We know what the outcome is going to be. I guess the only question is, do they want to put more points on the board before the final gun? Well, I certainly hope not. And I'm being selfish here because you and I have flights to catch. Let's go ahead and finish this one off, guys. <laughs> You've taken care of business. Let's close it out. And you and I, let's get to the airport. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. The tackle credited to Deshaun Elliott, the safety. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards.
Pacheco gets it again on second down. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, it's Pacheco. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they will finally haul him down at the Dolphins' 30. 88 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Here's Pacheco once again. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. A run by Pacheco on second down. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Butker now to add the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the finishing touch was that nice long run into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Dolphins offense returning to the field. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. But with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard, they see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. Well, they don't need to score here, that's for sure. They could just kneel it. They've got the huge lead late fourth quarter, but well, we'll see how they're feeling, Charles. Yeah, we all know people out there who like to use every second of the clock, no matter what the score. And we know they don't need the points. They've scored an abundance already. Let's find out how they want to finish this ball game. On first down now, run with McKinnon. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win.